Welcome to the Make and Design Podcast. I'm your host, Karina Gardner. On this podcast, we're unraveling the everyday joys and dilemmas of design, making, and business. For makers who want to be designers and for designers who are makers, this is your inside scoop to help you grow your business and bring more creativity to your life. Hey guys, today I have with me Emily Taylor. Emily and Taylor and I have known each other for a long time. Today we're going to talk about how she got started in collage quilting. And if any of you follow her on Instagram, you will see the most beautiful quilts. I have no idea how she does it because I haven't taken her classes. So we are going to talk today about how she got into it. How, like, how, like, does she even enjoy it? I guess we're going to find that out. (laughs) Emily, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. So my name is Emily Taylor. Um, I was just thrilled when you invited me, Karina, because we do have a long history. In fact, um, I started out as a fabric designer with uh, Karina at Riley Blake Designs, and I really loved that, although I was not a great designer. Um, That's not true. (laughs) (laughs) But um, so do you want me to just tell you kind of how I wound up where I'm at? Yeah, I think that's great. Okay, so I started out as a fabric designer at Riley Blake Designs, oh, a while ago, I guess probably 10, 10 or 12 years ago. It's been a while, because I don't even know when I started, and you started before me with them. Yeah, yeah, so, um, but we were real close to start beginning at the same time, so anyway, I did that, Um, I designed about 15 collections for them, Um, but I wasn't, I don't know, I'm pretty ambitious and, and I, so I wanted something more and I started a company called Pattern Jam, which was also in the quilt industry and it was software online, software free that enabled people to design their own quilt patterns and they could upload their own fabric and they could design a quilt top and it was pretty darn cool. I was really, really happy with it. I was really loving it. And I just got involved with the wrong investor. And um, I, you know, that pattern jam took over my life. I wasn't designing fabric anymore after that. Um, and then pattern jam, I just, you know what, when you take on investors, sometimes they can steer where you know the direction of the company and he and I just really butt heads and he wanted to take it one way and I wanted to go another way and so we just it didn't work and I lost pattern jam I lost hundreds of thousands of dollars that I'd invested and it was a nasty nasty end and so all of a sudden in 2017 I found myself with no you know I I had lost my contract at Riley Blake I wasn't doing pattern jam anymore. And I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do now? I was really, it was a really, really difficult time. One of the darkest times in my life because I had been so happy to be involved in the quilt industry. Um, But about that time, I was like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta go forward. I've got to pick myself up and figure out the next chapter of my life. And I'd started to see Laura Heine was becoming really popular and Susan Carlson and I was like, you know what, I'm going to give my, I'm going to give it a try making a collage quilt. So I made my first collage quilt in late 2017. And then um, I went up to a local quilt shop, Karina, you'll know, um, Elaine's quilt. Box. Elaine's, yes. Yes, unfortunately isn't there anymore. But um, so she, I own, I, the owner hired me to teach some classes. And so I kind of got my feet wet with teaching and I thought, you know what, I really like this. I'm going to pursue this a little bit more. And so I did. And so I launched my company, which is Collage Quilter in 2018. And so now I have a website, collagequilter.com, that is dedicated to sharing my sharing my art. So I have education on the website, um, you know, access to my video tutorials, my social media stuff. Um, my patterns and supplies. So that's what I'm doing now. And I also teach um, for quilt guilds and events around the country. And then um, I do Zoom, you know, teaching for guilds and stuff on Zoom. And I just am starting to do my own workshop. So my first workshop will be um, in Midway, Utah in 2022 in, 
in June and it is already sold out. So oh I'm my gosh, out. that's amazing. <laughs> nice work. Yeah, Emily. You're going to have to do another one just to, for oh, everyone. I want to do it every year. That's yeah, so fun. fun. Okay. So clearly you love this. Oh, I do. I, I love it. I am passionate about it. And part of the reason I love it, Karina, is because it is the perfect meld between art and fabric. And my background, I don't know if you knew this, I was a um, mural artist before I got in the quilt industry. Oh, I don't think I so, did know that. Yeah, so I, that's kind of my, that's my background is a mural, I was an artist. I was working as an artist for years and then um, got into the quilt industry. So that's why I love it. I feel like this is a really liberating way to play with fabric and be artistic. I love it. And I hey. love the community too. So for those of you who are not on the YouTube channel, Behind Her is such a beautiful, that is a collage quilt. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what this was before. Can you explain to people what, yeah. what is collage quilting and like what's, I mean, cause I'm a piecer. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so a really good, like, I'll just show you something that I'm working on right here. This is just about ready to quilt. Um, and you can see that a collage quilt, this one, well, all of them are made by just assembling pieces. Oh gosh, I have my, I need to redo my nails. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, it's made by, a, by layering pieces of fabric. So it's just collage. All the pieces of fabric overlap each other and they create an image and um, they overlap by about, oh, a quarter inch or more. And there's, really the the fabric the size varies the the pieces that i'm cutting but you can see that i'm adding really lots and lots of fabric to each collage and um so this is one everything that you see behind me is a collage that the clementine back there and the birds right here um, if you're on the podcast, you can get, you can go see what Emily is pointing to by going to youtube.com slash Karina Gardner. She showed at first a parrot quilt and you can see like all the layers of, of feathers that she's layered onto it behind her is like a flower quilt. And it's like all these roses and it honestly, from far away, it looks like an oil painting. Like that's oh, the craziest that's thing. Nice. Like I'm, I'm far away. So I'm only seeing it through my screen and it looks like an oil painting from back here. And I actually thought the Clementine tree that she had, I thought that was like an, an art piece, but like, so like from far away, it looks like this piece of art, you get up close and you see all the, the little pieces of fabric. So what are you attaching them to, to make them like, cause that's a lot of layers and you have a lot of bulk going on, right? Oh. Yeah, good question. So for example, well, I guess, you know, the easiest thing, I know this is a podcast and there's YouTube too, but Karina, I am going to show you something that helps to explain it. Okay. Perfect. So let me grab this. One way that I make collage quilts, um, this is one of my patterns. So if you, you can see that the Clementine back there, this is what I sell in the pattern. It is a pre-printed foundation panel that has the design printed in gray tones and the gray tones guide fabric selection and fabric placement. And so I, what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll say, okay, I want a green topiary tree and a blue pot and these orange clementines. And then I'll select fabric that becomes my palette. And so I will, for the green, for instance, you can see that I've got to select a whole bunch of darker greens, some mid-tone greens, and then some lighter greens. And it's that combination. I love to use printed fabric because that combination, you just can't replicate it. And so every single collage quilt turns out, it's just one of a kind, even if you use a pattern, there's just no way to replicate um, exactly what you might see that another designer has done. So, um, and, and I pay very particular attention to um, the principles of art, you know, creating contrast through um, understanding value and color families and um, temperature and whatnot. So we, we take those principles of art and we apply that to fabric selection and then we just cut and glue the fabric on. So that's, that's it. I mean, it's like literally, I mean, like, you said that's it, but like, this is complicated. Like if no, for those of you, it feels like it because you, 
because you have this, I mean, I say it's complicated. You've made it easy for everybody because you've got the, yeah, because you've made it this wonderful printed piece. But like, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, how, how big is your fabric stash in order to make sure you have, you have. It's huge. I mean, I've got a lot of fabric, but I've learned tips. Like uh, it's more important to have a huge wide variety than a large quantity. So when I shop for fabric and now I actually sell fabric on my website, that's pre-cut in eighth of a yard increments because we only need a small amount to, to create a collage, a small amount of each piece. But you can see that each piece is I, for each color, I pull in as much as I can. I love to have a, a good variety in my palette, but I don't need a lot of, of one particular pattern. Yeah, that was actually my next question. Like how big of quantities are you buying? But you're saying one eighth. At the most, yeah. And and um, so the way I sell it now is when I, um, on my website, for instance, this is a great way to buy fabric because you can't, you can't find a shop that will cut an eighth of a yard online in particular. So we buy fabric and we buy, for example, red. We're just about to release our red bundle and we only sell bundles and we sell an eighth of a yard of 18 different fabrics. And I curate the fabric bundles so that it, it, it includes dark to light and different temperatures. So we've got warm reds and cool reds in that selection. And that is what makes a collage really interesting, you know, having that variety of fabric. And um, so really this is just, it's like paint by number with fabric. And it is the funnest, easiest, quilting you'll ever do because there's no, um, you know, it's like painting. There's no right or wrong. And there, you don't have to worry about rigid um, cutting requirements. You don't have to worry about matching corners or, you know, there's no, it's, it's very um, free form. <laughs> it's oh my really, gosh. Really I am loving it. Just, well, you have made it easier for everyone else. Like I'm thinking about your process of like, Cause I was like, wait, where are you choosing all these fabrics? But you are actually providing bundles. So people don't right. have to make those decisions. They don't right. have to go into a fabric store and just like, be like, I need a little bit of this and a little yeah. bit of this and a little bit of this. Right. You're taking care of that. Yes. Yeah. So we're just, you know, as I've gotten going, I, I realized there are certain things that as I go that I'm learning, like, I love these little tweezers from Heidi property that I now sell and I'm selling, I sell my favorite, um, adhesive. So you can buy everything that you need and learn how to do it on my website now. Okay. So and so let's end on that. Tell everyone where they can find you if they're interested and you guys, you do need to go check out her Instagram feed because she's showing all these beautiful quilts and it will, I could totally see how it'd be addicting because you look at them and I'm like, Oh, I want to make a quilt like that. That it's looks fun, amazing. <laughs> I, know, I know I should come over. So, um, tell everyone where they can find you find all the things. Cause it sounds like you're doing bundles. You've got classes, you've got tutorials, you've got a lot of different things going on. I do. So you, my website is collagequilter.com. Um, I have a YouTube channel. I have um, uh, video tutorials that you can purchase from my website. And then I also run two big Facebook groups. So Collage Quilter Academy is where my people who have purchased my patterns can go and interact with me and other people who have made my patterns. And so we do quilt alongs in that group. So that's Collage Quilter Academy Facebook group. And then the Collage Quilter Facebook group, which has everybody who's in the Collage Quilt world from beginning to advanced teachers. We've got Laura Heine and Susan Carls and Danny Amazonas. They're all in that group. And so it's a super vibrant, lovely community. And it's a great place to learn and be inspired. And um, so, yeah, I welcome you to come and check it out and join the fun. You guys, I'm going to leave you the URL for that in the show notes. So make sure and click on that so you can go see all of Emily's stuff. Thank you, Emily, for coming on. We're going to have Emily back in a couple of months to talk to us about her books. I'm really excited about that. And we will see you guys soon. Hey, did you know that you can visit me at makeanddesign.com to learn more about this podcast and join my VIP group for weekly freebies? I can't wait to see you there.